gosh. That was a strike right there. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Back with another video we got. This guy right here, Tyler. Today we are at beautiful Lake Berryessa. We just made our way across the lake. Took a nice 40 minutes. Luckily we had the Torquedo. Six o'clock in the morning. We're fishing today, but we're gonna mix it up a little bit. Have a little one v one competition today. Best five fish. Whoever catches the best five, the longest five, gets to pick a hard bait out of the other person's boat. I know Tyler has some, some goodies. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> best five, whoever gets the best five today, inches wise, uh, gets the hard bait out of the other person's boat. So, we're gonna get started, bro. A little top water action, maybe? Yeah. We'll see what happens, but uh, obviously I'll keep you guys with me and then we'll go over Tyler's catches at the end of the day. So, here we go. You going top water first? Gotta be top water here. We got our popper. Perfect imitation bait size and color for a lot of the shad in this lake. We got a pelican above us. That's a good sign, right? Oh yeah, there we go. Crushed it. Ah, dang it. <laughs> they came off, it came off just like you were saying. Yeah, he went right to the surface. Ooh, got a little one swipe at it. A little guy. Yep. Oh yeah. Not a bad smallmouth. Is that a smallmouth? No, it's a large mouth. They choked it too. Not a bad one. We'll keep her. It's a measurable fish. Man, easy there, fella. Alright. Well 15 and a half to get started. Oh, I had a bite right there, right on the landing. Finally a bite on the popper again. Real shallow too. It's gotta be up in like three foot right there. There we go. <laughs> Got that time. Cool. Finally, small one, but take him at this point. You gotta catch up to Tyler. I'm sure Tyler has already got a limit. Oh no! Ugh, that was stupid. Let's go with the Chapo again. Let's see if it makes a difference. They're on the back sides. Oh yeah. The smally? Oh, that is a smally. Oh no! Alright, I gotta not be afraid to net these fish with all these trebles. Those are decent fish. And I'm playing them too hard. Or playing them too much. I need to just get them to the boat. Oh my gosh, that was a strike right there. That was a strike. We're netting this boy. We're netting this boy for sure. Oh my God. Oh, come on. Yeah. All righty. That will get your heart racing on the Chapo. fish right there. Now this will be a helper. 20. That is a beautiful fish. Biggest fish ever for me on a plopper style bait. And he smoked it. Let's 
so cool. Berkeley Chapo. I think we got to keep going with it. I may only have two keepers, but that, that one definitely helps my five fish limit for sure. That's our kicker for the day. Except I'm sure Tyler's wrecking them. Oh, wow. That fish smoked it. I didn't even really set the hook too fast either. Just kind of leaned into him. Oh, gosh. That time I said it too fast. Third time's the charm. Oh my gosh, the fish is just missing the bait. There we go. Oh my god, he came off. What the heck? I think it's a smallmouth. I'm gonna put a hook in him. Oh my gosh. Unless there's multiple fish there. That is one aggressive smallmouth. Oh, maybe there's a bunch of them right there. I think there's a bunch of them right there. Okay, I was thinking it was the same fish. A pile of them right there. We only have two keepers. We need to fill out our limit. Check in there. This is the same fish that was hitting my plopper. Oh, you know what? I don't even know if that's a keeper. <sighs> it's a keeper. I'm sad to have to, you know, to have to measure this, but we need a limit. And 12 and a half. Certainly we'll take it though. Multiple fish in this area. <laughs> Stay out of the bushes. Man, it's going towards the bushes. Get out of there. Oh, it's a good one. We need this one. We need this one. Man, he just wants to bury me. Just wants to bury me. Alrighty. Got four. That's a good one right there. <laughs> Haven't caught one in a while on a drop shot, but you want them to eat. That's the bait you throw. Nice one. Uh oh, Tyler, I may have found a little something. It's a long one. Yep. Nice 18 and a quarter. It's four. One more for a limit. Ooh, it's been tough. But as always, cover water, and eventually you find a little something. Hopefully that's that little something. It seems like it might be. I just saw another fish blow up on something over there. It wasn't a carp either, it was something feeding. So they might be congregated in this area, which is usually how it goes on this lake. It's like a needle in the haystack kind of deal. There was something big that blew up over here on something. Right between those two trees. We're gonna have to make our way around and present our bait correctly. Right there. There he was, right there. I guess he moved a little bit. That's so weird. Chatterbait, maybe? There we go. Yeah, way to go. I knew he was there. I guess he just didn't want the plopper. Ah, oh, God, spit it! It wasn't as big as I thought. Would have been our five fish limit. So there's bait back here and there's there's been bait everywhere, but I will say the one thing that's different about the bait back here is that it's like balled up. Everything else that I've seen today bait-wise has kind of been like spread out, but these are balls of bait that are getting chased and I can see them rippling like that right there, see? The bait is just roaming back here. It's like a foot deep back here. 
the bass are following these clusters of bait. That's that's the key ingredient right there. I haven't seen any giant bait. Wow. Come on. Be a giant. I guarantee I'll get a bite along the stretch. This is exactly the kind of stuff they've been setting up on. Guaranteed. Oh, that was her. Man, these fish are just missing. I think I know what's going on though. My heart is racing right now. I'm getting the follow up. Oh, this is our follow up there. Chatterbait. I'm gonna get this fish right here. Oh, it came out and got it. Dang it. Oh, so dumb. Slow down. You gotta learn to slow down. I don't know if I'll get another chance on this fish. Put my jig hook in its mouth. Yep, no more chances. Hello? What's up, dude? Um, uh, it's alright. I got like a decent limit. I got about 106 inches. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, I got, I've got four. I'm finally starting to get on some topwater fish. Yeah, isn't it kind of weird? Like all of a sudden the topwater bite's picking up right now, huh? I've seen bait everywhere this morning, but like the bait that's all like congregated is between the bush line and the bank. All right, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, later. later. All right, sounds like we've got a little competition. If I can catch one more to fill out a limit. Oh, they're busting right there. Gosh, busting right there. You saw that, I know you saw that. <laughs> Chasing bait back here. Are you serious? Smallmouth? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, it's a big largey. We're netting him. Yes. Get this guy measured and get back in there. All right, number five. That's another nice one, too. Uh oh, Tyler. Quick photo of you, sir. Another 18. 18 and a quarter. Thank you. All right. Oh, man. Ambush point. Oh, guy. I think that one's gonna help. Another fish on top. Always fun. Oh! That one smoked it. It's not a giant, but I think it'll help our cause. That is fun. I'll get rid of one of our small ones. Alrighty, that was a fun one. Man, that thing was running. Wow. That thing was running. Is that a bass? <laughs> wow. That was cool. I don't even know what our smallest one is anymore. 15.25 is our smallest. This is gonna be 15.25. Nope, it's gonna be shy. Fun fish though. Touch a treble hook bait and I get it stuck in my hand. How are these? Stinker. Sitting right on that tree. He just isn't getting it. Oh, we waked on it right there. Yeah, I guess we're not catching that fish today. Nope. Got right at the boat. Smoked it. It's a big one. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. That's a big one. Oh, no, 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 no,
Tyler, my friend. You are in trouble, sir. Another chunk. It's been a really fun day. Well, that'll call. <laughs> Got a pretty nice bag right now. Lost one earlier over here. We had it miss the chopper and then we missed it on the jig. Let's see if we can get it again. Knocked this right out of the water. I'm sick of that fish. It's gonna do the cheating method. I'm just gonna throw a drop shot in front of his face. Oh man! <laughs> wow. All right, you win, sir. I'll leave you alone. Oh, I smashed it. That might be our fifth good one. Oh, that's a big one, dude. Oh, it's a big one. Is this a kicker? Oh, God. I'm sorry, Mr. Tyler Jackson. Today was my day. Today was my day. What a day it's been. Ah, I got a little something. Should we go weigh him in? All right, time to weigh in. Alrighty guys, it's gonna conclude our day at Lake Berryessa. Like we mentioned in the beginning of this video, we had a little uh, side wager, side bet, best five, longest five. And that person gets to pick a bait, a hard bait, out of the other person's boat of their choice. I'll go first, I'll let you know what I have. 18.25, a 19.5, an 18.25, another 18.25, and a 20.5. So I had 94.75 for my best five. So I didn't have a day like this. I did lose a couple of good fish. Yeah. I started off with the 18 and a half right in front of them so i thought i had something going 16 15 and a half a 15 and a half and a 15.75 total score was 80.75 respectable so. respectable and i will say this guys and i'll be honest with you seven out of ten times we do this i lose i, pro <laughs> I promise you tyler knows this lake a lot better than i do i just got on the right fish today i don't know it was an interesting pattern i think we both kind of found the same thing we were fishing a shoreline a big chunk of brush trees that kind of you know parallel the shoreline and i was making the mistake of fishing on the outside in the middle ultimately what happened was they were on that inside shoreline i think a lot of what was happening was in that particular zone you were getting a lot of those bait fish that were schooling up and those fish would just be an easy meal half of my fish were in six inches of water so it is midsummer in california and they're in six inches of water so where there's bait there's fish and that's definitely what we found today but this is the good part this is where i get to claim my prize and i see tyler's already prepared so i get i get one hard bait of my choice are these all the hard baits you're not hiding anything oh you know what oh i do have a secret attribute oh that's the good stuff hard baits in here Ooh. Ooh. Guys, what would you take? I mean, we got a lot of good looking stuff here. We got a nice selection of crankbaits. Gantarell. Ooh, LVs. These LVs? Mm -hmm. Vision 110s. Uh oh. Plopper. <laughs> I'm calling your name? Is that, is that one making you tingle? Oh, man. Tune into you. Oh, check this out. This is the Top X. Oh, you can change the mouth. It has a bunch of different positions. This makes it dive. Pretty cool. Uh, you know what, I think out of uh, respect to what I did my damage with today, I have to go with your Whopper Plopper. It's probably caught the most fish on Berryessa than any other place. <laughs> oh, so I took the right bait. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it. I claimed my prize. Good times out on Berryessa. Catching fish on top in six inches of water. Yeah, does it get any better? No. Thank you guys for watching.